morning 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 guys it's been raining for like two days now in the A we're in Atlanta area but it's been wet at least Milana gets some good water but yeah guys it's been raining two days now um I guess it's because of that hurricane that bad bad weather that's coming down in Florida I guess it's pushing all this rain up here um, there's no wind or anything no hurricane wind we we far inland so I don't think we're gonna get any kind of weather like breeze or anything like that but as far as the rain we'll, we'll get rain you know once it gets up here today is Thursday they say it's supposed to make landfall down here in Florida destined area tonight sometime tonight so I guess by tomorrow we'll get more rain so let's just say we're gonna be getting rain for the next couple days <clears throat> couple days today tomorrow Sunday maybe because um, that bad weather is coming up from the Caribbean coming up the Gulf I mean yeah so I hope everybody stay safe down there in Destin um, the other day when I went to Destin down by the beach that's the area that's gonna get hit by this hurricane hurricane Helene or Helene or whatever so I only hope everybody stay safe everybody down there in Florida you know either leave the coastal lines or button down and you know put up shutters on their windows down there in Florida they got shutters they could put up on their windows just so that the window knock the windows out and the doors then you have flooding so you gotta worry about flooding as well but I hope everybody stay safe down there you know I highly recommend moving away up up this way or you know button down you know if, if you're in a higher ground if you're right there on the coast I suggest you know just moving up a little bit inland you know it's not worth it um, you know we come from Jamaica already so we kinda know how the hurricane thing them go hurricane we just mash up your house especially these houses look wood houses party plank houses all this stuff wood in Jamaica our houses are cemented you know cement with, with steel in it so it's you know it don't blow down that easy but look at this house it's all made of wood underneath this thing right here it's just wood under there the entire thing is made of wood it's just on a concrete slab like this that's it so because I know that's how they build the houses down there on the coast if the wind if you get like a hundred hundred and fifty mile per hour wind them roofs are gonna blow off look it's like shingle roof it's not even decked with cement or anything like that so in Jamaica you have a better chance you ain't gotta run go nowhere apart from the wood houses that they have down there and zinc roofing but if you have a proper concrete house in Jamaica you ain't gotta worry about hurricanes um, if you're in a low lying area you might have to worry about flooding but if you live on the hill you ain't gotta worry about hurricanes if your house is made out of concrete so um yeah uh we're just gonna get a lot of rain it's raining right now it's been raining all day yesterday all morning it's about midday now so i'm gonna have to move the van out of the way see guys the smoke is out there but the tree that big tree right there things fall off whenever it rains or windy so i'm gonna move it over so yeah um good morning good morning good morning <laughs> i forgot to say that but it's a beautiful day it's not hot it's cool because of the rain um i'm going to i already went to the salon last night cleaned up so it should be fine this morning should be good i think i'm gonna go by the barber and get a lineup um, that's why my hair is like this because i'm gonna get a lineup come back they're right down the street so yeah um ain't nothing much to do i can't i met with the plumbers last night um we got a game plan going i made the deposit for for the form to start the grease trap um the grease trap is um it's a process as well he got the permit but it's a process he has to get the inspector from the county to come out they're gonna 
do a walkthrough, take a look where it's gonna go and everything, and then they're gonna start digging um, right there. Um, but in order to dig, he has to get with the grease trap company, the company that's selling the, the grease trap itself. They're gonna tell him when they could deliver it, and then that's when he would, you know, dig the hole in the ground and um, prep it. They gotta put like rocks down in your sim, uh, stones so they they have to prep it a certain way before they put the tank in there um, so that's why the inspector comes out first check it make sure you know where they're digging is where it's gonna go uh, according to plan and then they're gonna um, they're gonna dig the hole get the company to bring a crane out put that tank in the hole um, I'm gonna try and get some footages once they're doing that um, and then from there, the inspector will come back out, make sure everything is good in the ground and connected, and then they could seal it up. Um, they'll, they'll have to put concrete floors like this on top of it. So he's gonna get all that done, um, but it's a process. All that I just explained to you, Imafe pretty much coordinate with the company that's delivering the grease trap and with the county inspector as well. So all that has to be coordinated in order to for him to move on, you know. Um, so yeah, we um we on it. Settled everything with him. He could go ahead and start now. Um, hopefully by next week. The week is already out. It's Thursday, and then with this bad weather, they can't do anything. So hopefully by next week, towards the end of the week, we'll have some news in terms of him starting um, to get it, you know. Um, the grease trap, the hood guy, the exhaust hood, he told me not this week coming, but the following week he'll be able to come in and knock out some stuff as well. He already, he has his permit um, to get that job done as well. So he don't, he don't need any building permit. As far as the building inside of the building, we, um, as far as the building inside of the building, we haven't got that permit yet. So we're not gonna start on the inside inside yet. He's just working on the outside. And then the hood guys, he's gonna work on his part. So stay tuned guys. Um, I ain't got nothing much to do today. It's a rainy day today in Georgia. I'm just here editing some videos. Um, I'm looking up different ways how to do marketing in terms of the restaurant and the salon. So I'm just looking at different ways how to make you know content for those two two projects, um, lifestyle project and Peppers project. Um, they have a lot of AI stuff now, so I was just looking at a few options um, how to create content when it comes to marketing those two two businesses. Um, I'm also making a list of the extra stuff that I didn't buy, so. Um, I'm making a list of that to see exactly how much more money we're gonna need to, to, to make that happen um, you know uh, we're running through the, the funds real quick guys it's it, it building out a restaurant or any space or even a house anything you're building the price tag on on getting these things done nowadays is just astronomical like um, the simplest of things is just cost so much money even if building this house just this brick section alone that goes around the house it's gonna be crazy money um, it's not like it's 500 bucks to do a brick like this around the house you're looking at probably 15,000 20,000 to, to purchase the bricks and get the, the workers to do it so prices of things are, are crazy just to do a roof on a house is probably you know eight nine thousand you know somewhere there about depending on how much roof you're dealing with so that's just the shingle that's not doing the wood on top so if you break things down it's, it's crazy you know just the water gutter that, that channels the water that comes down to the ground gutters are three four thousand five thousand for the whole entire house you know what i'm saying so it's like building you know anything you build you know where it takes materials and workmanship it's crazy price wise nowadays you know back five years ago these things used to be you know everything used to be under two thousand now everything is over ten thousand to get done so um 
it's crazy um the will the prices have increased triple quadruple pre 2020 uh yeah you know um so so i'm, I'm just saying four years ago the prices is, is like one fourth of the cost no food is quadruple <laughs> you know what i'm saying um so yeah it's just the world we live in um everything is quadrupled but our paychecks is not quadrupled you know what i'm saying so whatever we're charging we can't we can't quadruple it um but yet still everything around us costs more but our paychecks didn't go up four times you know what i'm saying so i don't know how the the you know without getting into all this politics stuff i don't know how the, the country runs like this how are people able to live if everything around them gas food everything double triple quadruple in price but their paychecks didn't i don't know how people live um, I, I never get that whenever this time comes around whenever you have inflation or or any kind of increase in 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 items i don't know how they balance that off um i know for sure people are always cut back on stuff in order to get you know in order to live um so certain things they used to splurge on they they don't splurge anymore in order to live they'll cut certain cable off they cut you know for me i even cut my phone bill the phone bill i had i end up shopping for a cheaper rate and cut it in half you know what i'm saying certain things that you don't need subscriptions that you might have as a luxury you you cut that off in in order to you know people just keep cutting back every every time this happens um so and then now we the people have to wait until that paycheck catches up to cost of living right and when your paycheck finally gets up to work to cost of living again they do the same thing over again and and raise everything up and then you, you right back in square one so i think it's just a thing where the people who are running the country they do this to control you know how we live so no one could get ahead in other words you know what i'm saying because if every time your paycheck catches up so you could pay for everything then they raise it up again so you'll always be living on on just this you'll never go like that you know um i guess it's just control and i don't know why they do that somebody need to break that down for me without all the big terms and tell me why they do that because they deliberately do that you know if you really look into it they deliberately when i say they the country the business of this country or whichever country because it happens in all countries right so the business that business does that they deliberately increase items and it always starts with gas if you raise gas everything goes up right so you know you just raise that one commodity that just raise gas and then the food is gonna go up delivery charges go up so food goes up um, this bag of charcoal is gonna go up because you raise gas so they're gonna put more money on this because they, it takes gas to produ produce it to deliver it you know what I'm saying all the items that they use to make this thing the bags and all of that they gotta truck it to wherever it needs to go you know the, the factories need fuel to to run you know what i'm saying so if you raise fuel you raise everything so it, they, they got it down pat now to where if they want to raise a whole entire country or the whole world just raise gas <laughs> and then everything automatically trickles up so yeah but stay tuned guys i'm just here i'm just giving you a little morning talk talk this morning um i didn't make any content yesterday it was raining all day i made just a little bit of stuff yesterday um the day before i uh, had made some some stuff where i was putting in this the sprinkler system hooking up the sprinkler to this hose it's right here so it's funny how you i did all the, those sprinklers because it was real hot and dry you know, you know to get some water on the lawn well, here we go having non-stop rain for two days so they always say whenever you you wash your car nice and clean then it start raining and wet up everything so you know 
guy is my little or orchid right here. I put it outside for it to get some, you know, indirect sunlight. So there's another leaf coming out right there. But <clears throat> it hasn't bloomed in like two years, guys. So everybody keeps saying just, you know, give it some time. It'll grow. So we'll see. Um, most of the time I have it on the inside. So because it's on the inside, maybe that's why it hasn't sprung. You know? Anyhow, stay tuned. I'm inside doing some work on the computer. So I'm going to get my hair cut in a minute. Um, and then, you know, see what, what's next for the day. Maybe later on this evening I'll go by the salon just to make sure everything is good um, over there. Um, oh, I'm going to call the contractor too to see if on his side if everything is going good so but yeah just go and stay tuned we'll get back to you in a minute you guys we have a rainy day here today in georgia it's storming check this out raining real bad guys yeah it's real real bad like a real bad thunderstorm go inside man get wet but yeah, real, real bad. Yeah, guys, outside. It's, it's like a hurricane out there. Let me see. Ah, uh, shouldn't have done that, but... There's a show on how hard it's apart. It's flooding already. Yeah, so Lana get a nice water. No need for water now, Lana, for the next couple of days. <laughs> get a nice soaking. But yeah, mega arm. My day I just wait out the rain. I'm supposed to meet the plumber over by Peppers at 5.30. So I'm going to leave over here. I'm about 5, a little bit after 5. And go over there and meet him. Um, stay tuned. We, our day is still going. Even though it's raining, I'm here editing some videos. So stay tuned, guys. May I get some of um, the videos edited and then head over to the Peppers. What up, what up, what up, what up, guys? It's a beautiful day here, although it's overcast today. It's kind of overcast. We're just leaving the salon. Um, got the salon clean. So now I'm heading over to the bank. I'm going to take care of some business over there. Um, and then from there, I'm going to head over to the, the, the plumber. Meet with the plumber. Finish up some business with him. Um, as I said in the, in the previous videos, I got the permit to do the grease trap. We haven't got the building permit to do the inside of the business. We're, we're talking about, sorry guys, <laughs> I'm talking about the Peppers project. I just jumped right into it. So, um, Peppers project, I'm pretty much working on it. We got a few permits and we didn't get a few. We still haven't got the building permit to work on inside. However, a few of the the county has signed off on, on their part. The health department signed off on their part. So now, I just need to um, have the city to sign off on their part. So once the city has sworn is signed off on their part, then they should be able to issue us a building permit for the inside. However, the permit for the grease trap has been approved. So he's going to go ahead and start that. But it is, it is a process as well. We have to order the tank, the grease trap tank and um, all of that. He has to get digging on the hole to dig the hole that is going to sit in. They have to come out and inspect it. So that's a, a, a little bit of process as well. So um, I'm going to finalize some things with him, with the plumber today. And then he's going to get started on that. Hopefully by next week he could start that. So permit is approved for the grease trap, which is good news. And we also got through with, um, with the hood system, the, the exhaust hood system. Um, we don't need the permit, a building permit for them to do that. Their permit is different. That's under fire. So he's he, he's going to come in not next week, the following week to install the rest of the hood. If you watch the videos before, you'd see the, the hood inside the, the, the building itself. Um, 
they delivered that already for a couple from a couple weeks ago so he's gonna get going on the hood the hood guy's gonna get going on the hood um no bash me no no jamaican people no bother bash me the, the the exhaust fan the exhaust system me at all about right in a foreign yard that them call it the hood the, the exhaust hood so he might get that set up um not next week he said the following week he'll be able to start that get that done um should be about a couple days worth of work five days somewhere there about they have to go through inspection as well so once he get it done then they're gonna come out and inspect what he he did all right so um I just step on the road today where I do some errands, get some stuff done and um, take care of some banking some banking and you know see if we can get things going alright guys so stay tuned I'm going to take care of some banking situation and then uh, move to the next stop so hold one second give me a few, I'll see you in the next scene guys the rain still at here, watch out Rain just a fall hard from, from yesterday Pretty much two full days this evening time now on a Thursday I guess it's because of that hurricane out in the Gulf that's coming in I mean it's still not really reached Florida yet But for some reason we just I get a lot of rain Just rain, rain, rain for two days now Non-stop like it fall non-stop yesterday Non-stop today up every day so right now and I think it has stopped for now don't mind my hat guys I really have this alright um I head down at the barber I get a little line up so I'll check back in